I think back uh, to the 1980s uh, when he was a member of the faculty and you know faculty politics can be very contentious and people can get their noses out of joint when things don't go their way. Dell never did. Uh, Dell is a consummate team player and uh, he might be on one side or another of a debate uh, but whatever is resolved as uh, the direction uh, for the institution, that's the path he would support. I can still remember some of those students that were with me in his advising group. Um, I didn't cross over with them any other way at Lewis and Clark, but they'd have us over for dinner and we'd sit out on their deck and um, Helen and Dell would, they have the gift of gab too, so they would talk and talk and talk and talk and, and um, it was very, um, definitely very much a family um, and for those of us who were from far away, that was a really important piece of um, our transition to Lewis and Clark and then he, you know, stuck with those relationships. I, I would guess that of our advising group that fall of 1981, he probably keeps in touch with, um, I'd say most of us, knows what we're doing, knows where we are, and that's pretty amazing um, for so many years ago. I think the word that I would use to describe Dell is uh, loyalty. Um, and I think it's loyalty um, to people, to his friends, who are all over the world. Um, you know, so one of those things he sends in his emails are updates of, you know, we were traveling here and here and here, and he just seems to have friends everywhere, um, which, you know, says something. I think loyalty to his family, who, who similarly are all over the place. Um, loyalty to his, everywhere from his high school uh, in Burns, uh, I think, you know, he's like, I, he's talked about high school reunions, and obviously loyalty to uh, the institution here at Lewis and Clark. Miranda Benson and I went on another trip to India um, last summer, summer of 2013, and we taught women self-defense and we taught dance to children through uh, Catherine Davis's 100 Projects for Peace. And throughout that, Dell emailed us. I don't know how he knew. It was like he knew when we were having trouble and we weren't even telling him about it. He would just email us and say, I know it's hard, things probably aren't going as planned, but you're making a difference and I'm sure it's having a rippling effect. And it really helped Miranda and I, it really helped both of us throughout our whole project. You couldn't go to an event at Lewis and Clark without running into Dell football games, basketball games, concerts, plays, lectures, Dell and Helen were there. Uh, and they, Dell seemed to know everybody around. And uh, that began to put a light on my mind that Dell was important to Lewis and Clark 40 years ago. And he still is important to school. I had to describe Dell Smith in one word I'd call him renaissance. I always thought of him as a very, an individual who went through many different era, you know, worlds. He's a football coach, he's an educator, I see him riding his bike down a waterfront park, living in the urban environment, uh, you know, being in the registrar's office, leading trips around the world. You know, Dell Smith can, is, is a man of many hats um, and great passion, uh, uh, you know, so renaissance is the word I would come up with. Wherever Dell is, um, he learns everything about the place. He, he embraces the experience. He focuses on the positive, And he finds the best in people and situations. And that's just a hallmark of, of Dell and his way of being in the world. Congrats, Dell. Well earned. And, and uh, above all, thank you um, from me and everyone uh, from, from our India group and all the other groups. I'll speak on behalf of all of them. Thanks so much. Congratulations, Dell, on receiving the Don Bomber citation. It is a greatly deserved honor, one that, that you, you well earned, and I'm very proud of, of the fact that I've spent many years admiring you and consider you a mentor and, and you receiving this great award.